Now that's a happy dog. A far cry from how she looked 48 hours earlier. Right here. Be caught. Here, hold my flashlight, bro. Yep, you got it. See, it was in like some some reeds or some like some cattails where it was kind of in distress and it was it was uh, it had a hard time keeping its head above water. The husky, formerly known as Zoe, stuck in this pond in Sterling Heights over the weekend, rescued by officers. The officers did take a risk in saving the dog, but uh, they, it was a calculated risk. Officer Smith there, scaling the deck of his home near 15 yeah. Mile in Dodge Park, helped out by yeah. Officer Archer. It's all right. The folks who called 911 standing by Leary because that pond is deep and thick with vegetation. Zoe was scared too, maybe because of the time of year. They could have been in, in distress just because of the anxiety or the, uh, the the fear of the loud fireworks. Come on, come on. Ready? Come on, pooch. Got him, Mike. Hi, hopefully I don't get. Hey, puppy! Hold him down while I'll have to <laughs> You could tell this husky, she was just very happy to see those officers, and, and she she kept, she must have been able to, to sense their aura that they were good. Back for some R&R, &R, kind of, at Sterling Heights Police. Animal control there scanning the pup for a microchip Monday. Plot twist incoming. And they did have a chip, and the owners were located in Traverse City, so it's still unknown how the dog made its way all the way to Sterling Heights. That's 250 miles away. We talked to Zoe's owner by phone. That's her in the photo. Last year, she gave Zoe to a friend before leaving for California. Now she's back in Traverse City and is ready to bring Zoe on home. Come on, pooch. Got him, Mike. Hi, hopefully I Hey, puppy. There is a reunion plan between the original owner and Zoe sometime Monday night. She said she is very thankful. It's all possible because of that microchip. But there's still a lot of questions we may never have answers to, like how she made that journey. Jessica Dupnak, Fox 2 News.